Liz from Diderio, and I am here with Hannah Vanderswa, New York City-based educator and very talented violist. And she is here today to walk us through how to keep your instrument clean. We have um, the basic parts that we need to think about in this cleaning process. So we have the neck and the back, right, which is where the hand that makes a lot of contact. And then on the front, we have the fingerboard, where the fingers actually make contact with the strings. And there's a lot of buildup usually around there. And then we also have the shoulders here. We also have a lot of contact there from the hands. This, uh, the bridge itself, which holds up the strings. And then the strings come all the way down and connect into the tailpiece. And then the chin rests down here. So all of these spots that have a lot of contact with, with our hands and, and with our body as we play are important to think about when we're cleaning. Okay. So. And why do we want to think about cleaning at all? What's so important about keeping your instrument clean? Yeah, the reason why is because there's a lot of buildup that happens as we play, and I, we don't even realize it, but there's buildup from, um, from the dirt and the dust in the air and in our environment. There's the buildup from our hands themselves, like the oil that's on our hands, from our skin, our skin cells. Mm -hmm. um, all of that can, can build up on the instrument. And, the one that we see the most and think about the most is also the rosin itself from the bow. The rosin dust that comes off as we play, as we move the bow around, um, that builds up very quickly and gets very sticky. Okay, cool. So, yeah. um, is that a process that you can experience or hear in your own playing, that build-up process? Absolutely, yeah. If, if, if left sort of un, uncleaned, you can sort of start hearing the effect that it has on your sound, which is also why it's really important to keep changing your strings kind of on a regular basis, you will notice that difference as it's starting to get a little bit older. So you want to change them. But cleaning helps a lot with that too. Okay. So, yeah. And I will note that we have some other videos that are related to how to change the strings on your instrument as well. So be sure to check that out if you're curious. Okay, um, so let's start at the top. Let's yeah. get this cleaned. Awesome. So we're going to work with two cloths. Um, it's really good to have one cloth that works kind of just for the areas that are affected by the rosin, the okay. contacts from the bow, and then we'll use another one sort of more for polishing um, the rest of the body of the instrument. So I'm going to use this cloth here, and we're going to just use one section for each string. We're going to work one string at a time, and it's good to sort of push in one direction. Um, you don't want to rub it back and forth too much because it can kind of just grind it down. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just sort of brush it down in a way. You will hear kind of a squeaking sound, especially on the violin, the higher pitch strings. That can come from the rosin, but that's good. That means we're cleaning it. So that squeaking, that's normal? <laughs> the squeaking is normal and uh, it, does, it does help to clean it. It will, it will make a difference. Okay, so I've managed to wipe some of the rosin down and off of the strings, and I'm going to use this, another section of this same cloth, and I'm going to wipe off some of the buildup here underneath the strings, where a lot of the rosin can fall, and on this side as well. Okay, now I'm going to use a different cloth um, to actually clean the other parts of the instrument that my hand and my body has made contact with when I play it. So it's really important to wipe off the neck and again, moving in that sort of downward motion. So we're pushing things away and off the instrument. Same with the shoulders. And we'll do the same with the front. There's a lot of buildup of like dust. You'll see a lot of dust under the tail piece. So we can kind of take a section of it and pull it down this way. Same for under the fingerboard. And then we kind of just give it a nice polish and it lets the varnish really shine. Cool. So do you have any other tips or tricks that you want to leave us with? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's really important to make sure that you always wash your hands before you clean your instrument. Um, but make sure that you really dry them thoroughly because one really important thing is that you want to make sure that you don't get any, any water or really any liquid of any sort because um, it can do a lot of damage to the varnish. I would suggest not using like a treated cloth because again, it will really affect the varnish. So just using these nice dry cloths that will sort of just push everything off in a way is really good. Um, and then just make sure that you're, that you're doing it 
consistently. Just sort of, it really helps with the maintenance of the instrument, so you're taking care of it every day when you finish your practice. Um, you know, you're cleaning it before you put it back in the case. It's really important. I'll also point out too that you used two of the different kinds yes. of cloths that Diderio makes. Yes. Um, the yellow one is a cleaning cloth that has no extra chemicals that's added to it. And we also have our gray microfiber cloth. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that lesson. Absolutely, thank you.